Okay, so what we have here is a video of how to make a cheap alternative to the speed fill ones. I found that they were quite expensive, so I've decided to try and make a cheap one. What we have is just an old bottle. This is a noon or none um, tab bottle. A permanent marker straw, that's from a profile design and then two thick elastic bands what I'm planning on doing is putting this in here cutting it off putting it in there putting the straw at an angle tying it down with these then hopefully having an, uh, a triathlon a triathlon and um, to fit on there a triathlon aero water bottle on the cheap so we'll see if it works I'll take some pictures and then yeah let's see if it works Right, okay, this is where we're up to now on the aero bottle. Um, I haven't tested it yet, uh, but this is what it looks like. Um, the Yeah, so this is it. It's got the, the straw in there, which is, a, for some reason, a bit of a bad angle. Um, I'll sort that out, I'll create a better angle, but you can see what it's all about. Two rubber bands holding it down really well. You can't move it at all. Really strong. You get them off Wiggle, their profile um, ones that they use. As you can see at this from the other pictures, in the noon bottle creates the, the space at the bottom. That's for uh, the straw to go underneath. And it then allows the space for the water to um, go into the bottle safely and this this will stay relatively uh, secure because this rubber band is also leaning up against it um, that's it there, that's how I did it got the straw at a better angle lean the rubber bands up against it I'm going to be sealing the end of the water bottle because it's pointless now having it as a proper water bottle I'll be seal sealing that up with the PVA glue um, I'm also going to be using the PVA glue to seal these in, the straw and this. You can get this uh, strap, doubling it up over that while it's in. So you can PVA glue it or put super glue round and then get it over, over with this. Make sure when you cut the, the, nun, the noon bottle um, electrolyte bottle off that you leave the cap because then that means when you're cycling along you can take the cap off with one hand and then fill it up and then pop that back on with relative water spillage relatively little water spillage which will be good I haven't tested it as yet because they haven't put the PVA glue on but I've got no doubt that it'll work pretty well once I get the straw at the proper angle I took a few I think I took two and a half inches off the top because it was a bit close to my head. So, uh, yeah. Um, but, I mean, that took me about half an hour to make from the first video. The first part of the video, it took me about half an hour. So, save myself 45 quid, I think it is, for a speed fill. And this is uh, a perfect size for a cap to fit in. I obviously haven't squirt, uh, squirted it in yet, but I'll do another video when the PVA is set, see what happens. Right, okay. Um, as you can tell, I have decided not to use um, PVA, which I originally decided to do to try and fit these in place. I found that it was just not set in, and it was quite runny, uh, ran inside the bottle. So instead what I've done, I've used Micropore, no sorry, Transpore, which can pick up a um, 
pharmacies and things like that and it's really good because you can you can uh, half it really easily it tears really easy and it's really strong so you can split that that width in half quite comfortably and I've fixed the straw in place there and I've fixed this in place the reason why I've used that as well is because now when I'm riding along whereas before you could pull it out now you can just unclip that off and then put it back in in place and this doesn't move it also it looks quite watertight as well but uh, but we'll see as you'll be able to tell uh, I've got some some there as well because for whatever reason my handlebars bank to the right so that's it from that angle so as you can tell it's pretty aero my arms will come over here my hands will come here so that it'll block this tower there uh, right so let's give it a go uh, got my water bottle here so you're in a race you pull it out this is my first try as well so you're in a race there as you can see the water seems to be going in pretty good this isn't the greatest water bottle because it's one of them squirty ends ones the ones in races obviously be a far better end than that filling up filling up right I'll just take it out for emphasis one more so it's pretty full now as you can see I'm right, I've got the straw at this end because that's what where the water is going towards I think yeah and uh, right let's shake it about a bit oh I forgot to put the top back on nightmare right let's shake it about a bit apart from the water which has already come out as you can see that's violently shaking it it's probably got a few things coming out of the, a few little of the gaps but I mean how often do you go over things like that I mean the light bumps it's hardly any is coming out a few little drips and drabs when I was violently shaking it so as you can see and I think the hole it's coming out of is the straw one it's not the one that's attached here if it wants to focus it's not the one that's attached here it's the one that's attached here there is a quite a large hole because they had to uh, readjust the angle because it was too upright so yeah that seems to work and I'm happy using that in the sprints and I'll be using that in my my recent half iron man that's going to come up in a few weeks so great result